For station six of the properties of Water Lab, we are going to be analyzing specific heat and freezing point. So specific heat refers to the amount of heat necessary to turn the liquid into a gas. So what I see here, I have two balloons. One I have water in and one I just have air in. So I've tried to fill them approximately to the same volume so that they're, um, they're equal in terms of everything else other than having um, water in one of them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to light a match and I'm going to hold the match below the two different balloons. So I'm going to start off with the one with just air. And you see what happens. Quickly after I light that, it explodes. So let's try the one with water. So what you see is there's a little bit of a mark from the smoke there. It's a little bit warm here, but overall the temperature of the balloon is still pretty cool. So that should show you what happens with the two balloon. As it says for the analysis for part A, as in the balloon, Large bodies of water, oceans, lakes, and ponds absorb a lot of heat energy with only small changes in temperature. Why would this benefit organisms living in large bodies of water? Then, at a cellular level, billions of chemical reactions take place every second which produces heat as a byproduct. What should your internal body temperature be? So you might want to check on the um, in the internet to see what your internal body temperature would be. And then what would happen if your body didn't have water and all those chemical reactions occurred? So what would that be equivalent to in terms of our water and balloon demonstration? What does water allow the body to maintain? So we're in unit one, so think of the characteristics of life and how does it do this? Lastly, and you might want to find your own demonstration for this, get a, uh, a piece of ice and put it into water. What's going to happen to it? And if something lives in an aquatic environment, how is the way ice behaves with water beneficial to aquatic environments? So after you finish that, you will be all done, Station 6.